Hello, this is Miss Janelle with the Ella Johnson Library, and I am here today to do a project with you. We are going to make some music. Are you ready? Let's get started. All right, so today we're going to make two instruments. For our instruments, we are going to need straws, tape, scissors, bottle caps or buttons, and some thin cardboard. You can also use markers, crayons, or pens to decorate your instruments. All right, so the first instrument that we're going to make today is going to be a pan flute. So for this one, you'll just need straws, scissors, and your tape. All right, so a pan flute is actually an ancient Greek instrument made out of reeds or also made out of sugar cane. For this one, we are going to use straws to create the similar effect. You need something hollow because we're going to blow into it to make our music. So a pan flute has several reeds lined up together and each reed is of varying graduated lengths. So in order to get that effect, we're gonna have to line all of our straws up and tape them together. All right, let's do it. All right, so you've taped all of our straws together. We wanna to make sure the tape is nice and taut so that they're not wiggling anywhere. So now this is the point where we're going to start cutting into some of our straws to create a sort of triangle. I'm also going to trim the top because we don't need that much for the part where we put our mouth and we don't wanna to have too much of the bend in the straw either because that will affect the sound coming out of our flute. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim just above our bend and then do a graduated cut along our straws. I would highly suggest getting help from a parent for this one so that you do it nice and straight. Also, it's helpful to draw a line to follow along. Okay, so we've cut off the top and we've done a graduated cut for our pan flute and you can see it kinda looks more like a triangle now. So in order to play your pan flute, you're gonna hold it like this up to your lips and you're going to blow in it kind of the way you do into a kazoo. The long one will create a deeper note and the short one will create a higher note and it'll go up in a scale like so. You can do as many or as little straws as you want. I did more of a traditional pan flute with the 10 straws. And then feel free to decorate your handheld area with whatever artwork you like. All right, on to the next instrument. Okay, so for this instrument, we're going to be making a Spanish instrument called a castanet or a clacker. They're traditionally used as a percussion instrument and you commonly see them with flamenco dancers. So we're gonna do a smaller version that's going to use cardboard and bottle caps. Or if you don't have bottle caps, you can also use buttons. Make sure that your buttons are a little bit more flat and don't have wavy edges, otherwise you won't get the right sound out of them. And make sure both are the same size. In order to make our castanet, we need to draw kind of a popsicle shape onto our cardboard and cut the entire thing out, as you can see with this one. Now, you will fold it in half so that it creates this shape. Then you will open it back up and you're going to glue your bottle caps or your buttons, one on each side with the flat side facing up. I highly suggest using hot glue to create a stronger bond for your castanet clacker. And please make sure you get assistance from a parent or guardian if you're using hot glue. Once they're dry, you can go ahead and start making music. Traditionally, you want to use two in your music, so make sure you have enough to make two castanets. I hope you enjoyed making a little music with me today, and we will see each other very soon at the library. Have a good day.